Finally, after a long time, I'm making a video on Windows 11 update because this time we have really exciting and useful new features. Just a reminder, all these features are only available in Windows 11 Dev Preview channel, which means if you want to try these features early, then you have to join the Windows Insider program. You don't necessarily need to join it on your actual PC. You can use a virtual machine or something like that, and you can access all the upcoming features before release. Now, let me show you guys really cool and exciting and useful features that are available in Windows 11 developer preview channel. First really cool and useful feature is official RAR 7z file support. Before this feature we had to use third-party tools like FinRAR or 7-zip. Now it is officially supported. You can right click and you'll see extract option. Simple. It works just like it used to work with the zip files. There is one thing, maybe it's still in development. You can't compress the files or folders to RAR or 7Z formats. You can uncompress them, but for now, I don't see any option to compress them into RAR or 7Z. Maybe they are still working on it. Maybe this is how it's gonna work. So at the end of the day, if you need to compress your files, then maybe you still need those third-party tools WinRAR or 7-Zip. Second really useful feature, finally they have added the volume mixer. Yes, this was a feature in Windows 7, 10, 8, but sadly it was removed in Windows 11. But now finally it looks like Microsoft is adding that thing back and it is really useful. Next one, I don't know if this is useful or what, but in settings menu now there is a new option called home where it shows your devices info and some other things and also some advertisement for now i can see the advertisement for microsoft 365 the rest i think remains the same maybe there are some new features really deep into the settings app but overall it just remains the same now the final feature the final boss <laughs> i don't know maybe some people will like it maybe some people don't if you use ai a lot like bing ai chat gpt you know bing ai is basically chat gpt but made by microsoft and maybe has some extra features now there is this thing called copilot for windows 11 and it is a desktop application and it is a ai assistant for windows 11 with this finally cortana is dead cortana was long dead but yeah finally we have a replacement so maybe you're wondering what's the difference between this and bing chat well this can do more things than bing chat it can perform some tasks like you can ask it to take a screenshot it, you can ask it to play music you can ask it to open specific application. For now, there are some things that it can do. For example, it can change the dark mode. It can change the do not disturb mode. Maybe some other things too. I tried opening application with it, but I couldn't. For now, it's still in development, so it can't do all the things that it will do in future. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. <laughs> so for example, I can ask it to take a screenshot and it will actually open a snipping tool, you can see. And it also gives you the keyboard shortcut to open this. So yeah, pretty cool, right? So basically imagine this as a Google Assistant in your phone or Siri in your iPhone. So yeah, it's a assistant for your Windows 11, which will do many things for you. And plus it is way powerful than Google Assistant or Siri because it's a AI chatbot like ChatGPT. Bing Chat is here. You can ask it to do whatever you have been doing on the internet with chatbots. You can ask it to write a mail. You can ask it to generate images for you. So yeah, it's an amazing thing uh, if you're into AI chatbots. Hopefully there will be a way to completely disable this just in case if we don't need it. And yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.